This should be impossible now. It should be impossible now? You don't know about the... Oh my god, don't do this to me. I don't know about the what. Okay. Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Man, just throw the whole movie away. So, The Flash. It's a cursed movie. I'm pretty certain this thing is just not coming out. It's been stuck in developmental hell since 2016. It's gone through different directors, different writers, and from what I can gather, it's been delayed four or five times. And the star, Ezra Miller, has been building a list of off-screen controversies. Now, I'll keep it real with you guys. I'm really not looking forward to this movie. So, I figured, hell, let's go through a timeline of horror to see what issues this film has had. And then you'll probably understand why I have no faith in it. Hello, first of all, how are y'all doing? So far I can gather, the pre-production started back in 2016, with a release date of March 2018, with Seth Graham Smith to write and direct, but not long after, he ended up leaving the project. But apparently they kept the script and the journal idea for the story. Then in mid-2016, Rick Famuya, Famuya, fuck. Rick Famuya joined the project and was set to direct, but then he left later that year in October due to the creative differences. So by the end of 2016, they went through two directors, and now that 2018 release date was scrapped. So the film was put on ice, and they spent the next few years looking for someone to direct the movie. Fast forward to early 2019, they pick up Christina Hodgson to rewrite the movie, and Annie Muschietti to direct. They were now looking at a July 2022 release date, and now they were in their pre-production stages. We work on the script, handling the casting, all that good stuff. But before they could actually start filming, COVID happened in early 2020, delaying all that. But finally, they actually got on set and started filming, in April of 2021 and finished of October that year. The July 2022 release date was now scrapped and was instead pushed back to later that year. So now they're looking at like a winter 2022 window. But wait, right before they actually started filming, Ray Fisher, who was set to appear as Cyborg, was removed from the project after speaking out against the president of DC Films, Walter Hermada. This happened early in 2021, right before filming for the Flash movie started, which of course meant that rewrites would have to occur on short notice. Now fast forward to October 2021's DC Fandom event and we finally get our first official teaser trailer for the Flash movie. And then, nothing. The most recent update is that the film has now been pushed back again to June 2023. So this project has had many different people just come and went, and has been delayed pushed back for years. Those reasons alone are more than enough to make me lose faith in this project. But now it comes time to talk about the controversies that the star, Ezra Miller, has gotten himself into. Talk to you soon, okay? The earliest controversy was back in 2020, when he was recorded choking a woman. So the story around this one is a bit blurry, because I've seen people claim that they were friends and they were messing around. Others say that the woman was harassing him. I'm not sure what the true story is, but this caused a bit of a stir, but didn't actually amount to much. And it was seemingly just swept under the rug. I don't want to fight you, Flash. The second thing that got the media's attention was in January 2022, which was actually a pretty funny one. Ezra Miller recorded a video of himself in his car, telling the KKK to kill themselves. But then he also threatens to kill them if they don't. It was a weird video, and many don't know if he's being serious or joking or this was like for a movie and was a way to get attention for it but regardless a lot of people took notice and thought it was kind of strange if y'all want to die I suggest just killing yourselves with your own guns. And now, most recently while in Hawaii, a few things happened. He was arrested for disorderly conduct in a karaoke bar. He was yelling at people and getting pretty rowdy. And thus, after a couple of threats, the police were called and he was arrested. But apparently, the story is that Ezra and his friends were getting ignored and disrespected and refused service at the bar. So that's why things started to get out of hand. But after the arrest, a couple placed a restraining order against Ezra Miller because he apparently broke into their apartment and threatened to kill them while he was stealing stuff. But apparently, weeks before the arrest and the restraining order, Miller had a run-in with the cops outside of a bar. He was told that he couldn't come in, but he tried to come in anyway, resulting in some shoving and eventually the cops got called, because he refused to leave. Now after all this happened, some news broke out about how he was on the set of The Flash, and apparently he would have frequent meltdowns and outbursts. They weren't violent outbursts, but he would break down during filming. Apparently an emergency meeting took place at Warner Brothers to discuss Ezra Miller's future, but now articles are updating the story saying that that meeting actually never took place, so I'm not so sure about that one. But after seeing Warner Brothers move actors like Johnny Depp for having controversy outside of the movie set, I wouldn't be surprised if Ezra got removed from future Warner Brothers projects. But since they're removing controversial actors from their movies, why the hell is Amber Heard still working on Aquaman 2? Be sure to keep your guard up, Momoa. <laughs> oh, wow. So as of right now, that's the latest issues with the Flash movie. Numerous directors that came and went, it's been delayed for nearly five years now, and Ezra Miller himself seems to be having more and more controversies offset. And after hearing about him having meltdowns while filming, he really needs to seek some help. His behavior has become more unhinged, and I wouldn't be surprised if it gets dropped from future Warner Brothers projects. So all this is why I don't have faith in this movie, and why I think it's a cursed film. And it seems like it's destined to stay in developmental hell. And with the rumors that this movie will apparently be used to reboot the DCEU and to introduce the multiverse, that means that even if Ezra Miller is dropped from the future projects, they could just easily cast someone else to be the Flash and just use someone else like Wally West. But that's just a theory. I'm just ready for this movie to get released and just get it over with. It really has the makings of a disaster. But yeah, I think we're all up to speed. That's why I think it's a cursed movie and I'm not excited for it. But I'm curious. Leave a comment let me know if you're excited for the Flash movie. And what do you think Ezra Miller's future will be in the Flash films or other Warner Brothers projects? They're gonna let him go? They're gonna keep him around? Leave a comment let me know what you think. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, go and drop a like on it. Thanks for watching. Keep doing exactly what you're doing right now and you know what I'm talking about.
You and me. Now. <sighs> I can't wait to get my hands on you. Your life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. 